Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom starter character in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a plugin for this. It's called Load Character by Already Pro. You can get this by going to Home, Toolbox, Plugins, and searching up Load Character, or it should be the first one. After that, we're going to go ahead and load the character that we want. I'm going to use my friend. His name is Phoenix Boss, but his Roblox username is iTrumpos. And now we loaded him in. And let's go ahead and change human root part to off. Or to anchored to off. So after we do that, we can go ahead and select him, move him around do whatever you want but we have to name him to starter character and then put him in starter player and press play after we've done that we are him so it's that easy but you can also do some other things so let's say we want to choose him right let's go ahead and add a little button right here this little button is going to be a click detector so whenever we press him it will change us to him alright let's go and add a script into server script service and then we're in a folder we're going to call this uh, characters selection so this is a folder that will have characters that we can select alright now in the script we're going to have a variable local characters folder equals game dot workspace dot characters so our character selection and that should basically be all we need for the variables except for well actually that seems like it so now what we're going to do is for i object or i character or yeah actually i character in pairs characters folder get children do if character find first child click detector or we can actually just do local click equals character find first child of class and the class is a click detector if click then click dot mouse click connect function and actually instead of connecting a function right here we will just go ahead and actually no let's just create the function right here because we're gonna have to do something anyway add player and to the parameters and after that we can do local character actually not local character we'll do if game dot starter player find first child starter character then game dot starter player dot starter character destroy then after that line of code we're gonna do character or new character so local new character equals character clone new character dot name actually we won't need a name new character dot parent equals game dot starter player and then after that we can also do new character dot humanoid root part dot anchored equals to false that way these guys will actually stand up while they are not being selected and not being used and after that we put this guy in character selection and then we can rename the script call it character manage and we can also add more characters so let's go ahead and add another one of my friends uh, blue shadow and I think that is not his full name. Actually, we're just going to add my old account. My very first ever account. 
So let's say I want to morph back into my old account. All right. Let's go ahead and select him. Move him right near Robbie. Or Phoenix Boss. Add a click detector. Put this guy here. Name it starter character. There is a click detector, and there's a click detector here. So now we should be able to do everything except, um, yeah, it looks like everything's fine, right? Yep. So if we go ahead and press play, and we go right here. Whenever we click them, as you can see, it did nothing because we have to go right here and the character is the characters folder it's grabbing the models and after that it's getting a click detector so it's finding the first shot of the characters class equals a click detector if click then click dot mouse click connect function that should be right if game dot start a player find for shot start a character which is there uh, then game dot start a player to start a character destroy this should work local new character equals character clone new character human under part dot anchor equals false oh I know what the issue was player load character that should be it let's press play As you can see, it selects it right here, selects this, and that's it. So you can change your character. It's that simple. And it also gets rid of the already made starter character. So I want to be this one. It gets rid of it, and this is a starter character now. And then they stand up. You can't, like, knock them over or anything. So this helps if you just want to create, like, a, a little character thing. And you can also make this a remote event. So instead of this being clicked, the remote event happening connects the player, and it would literally be the exact same thing. And I'll show you right now. So let's create a remote event. Let's call this, um, well, we'll make it change character. Okay. Then we put this in server storage. After that, we can change this to instead of that we can do click dot on server event and then click will just be game dot replicate storage dot change care and that should be pretty much all we have to do uh, after that we will do connect player and then we will also need the character um, Okay, so we actually can get rid of something. So let's just copy everything right here and remove it. And then we'll do local change character equals game dot replicate storage dot change care. And then after that we can go ahead and do change care dot on server event connect function player character and then in the character selection all we have to do for these guys just create a string value actually don't create a string value this one just name them to whatever you want so cast the king for this one and actually this is cast the king my old account and this one should be i trump post i And then we're going to be firing it so we can just create like a starter G GUI. Reset on spawn is fine. Just add a text button. Fire server. Local script. Script.parent.activated. Connect function. Game.replicate storage. Change character fire server and we'll have the character name is cash the king then we'll duplicate this text button 
This one would be I Trump Posi. Go to character manage. And then local new character equals character folder. Character clone. New character dot name. Actually, we can just um, paste this in, right? And get rid of this. And then also do new character name equals starter character player load character. And that should work. We can even name these to I Trump plus I cash the king. And now we know which one's which, so it's a GUI to change our characters. And we did get an issue. And because it's right here, uh, workspace character selection, yep. So we actually have to do server storage dot character selection since we moved it. And now it should work perfectly. And if we have any errors, then I might have messed up, but we won't because it's awesome. So catch the key, it works. I trump aside, perfect. Boom, we can just change characters. So yeah, do that how you will. This script is going to be in the description in a paste bin. And this whole project right here, uh, you guys really don't need this. Like, it's that easy to script. I'm not going to leave that in there. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, but this, this, this are all going to be in the description. And uh, it's going to be in the toolbox. So all I'm going to do is save uh, character selection. Allow copying, allow comments if you guys want to comment. Easy character selection. That simple, you guys will be able to get this in the description down below. And if that's all, I'll see you guys later. Bye.